Hello everyone, in the previous lecture we saw that, that uh, use of history and use of randomization does not help in, op in obtaining a better reward in a Markov decision process problem. So, our main result here was this uh, what is written here that the, if you optimize the, uh, the cost over all Markov uh, deterministic Markov policies and uh, then that is also equal to the optimal reward that you would get when you optimize over all history dependent randomized policies. So, this can be expressed in, in this one simple line by simply saying that you the um, a, there, that these two concepts are actually equivalent. The first concept is a Markov optimal policy and that the other concept is an optimal Markov policy. An optimal Markov policy is simply uh, is, is the optimal over all the set of all Markov policies that is this left hand side here. So, the left hand side is the optimal policy over the set of Markov policies. So, I can call that as an optimal Markov policy and but the equality here is telling us that a Markov uh, optimal Markov policy is also happens to be an optimal policy which is Markov. In other words that if you look at the optimal policy here the, that means the right hand side then there is a Markov policy here which is also which is also optimal. In other words a Markov optimal policy uh, that means if you look for a Markov policy amongst the set of optimal policies of optimal over all history dependent and randomized policies that is actually not the equivalent to looking for an optimal Markov policy that means looking for an optimal policy over the set of Markov policies ok. This, this, this is one simple way by which you can try to remember, uh, remember the, the, this basic result of Markov decision theory alright. So, now we will get to a, a new class of problems and this class of problems is, is basically are the main reason why uh, the, uh, for, uh, for the uh, for what makes this course interesting and that those are problems with imperfect information ok. So far in the, co in the course we have never cared about the issue of information. The information if at all has come to us through the history uh, of, of the problem the, the or the history that you knew at about, uh, about the system at any time t. That was essentially the information that we had. And the history was such that you remember we always assumed that the history comprised of the end all the states and all the actions that have happened so far and the present state. So, we always wrote out that history is at any time t was, was comprised of states s0, uh, the state at time 0, the action at time 0, state at time 1, the action at time 1 and so on state at time t minus 1, the action at time t minus 1 and the state at time t. This was our history right. So, now we, we will now have a, a more uh, complicated situation. So, the, the what we will actually not know uh, the, the state at any time. So, we will not have access to the state at any given time. However, we will be allowed to remember the entire history. Uh, earlier in our problem we were also allowed to remember the entire history, but we need not have remembered it because all that mattered was the knowledge of the state at that time. In this case we will we will not since we do not actually know the state and this history also does not in the his and therefore the history does not actually give us the knowledge of the state what we the problem will will require us to remember the entire history up until at any time t ok. So, because the, the essentially the, the dilemma that we will be faced with is that we, because we do not know the state at any time t, we would there is nothing in the history that we can actually discard as saying that this is this is not useful anymore. We would want to keep the all the history all everything that we have observed so far because as more observations emerge 
our, our estimate or our belief about the state improves. And this uh, as, as a result of this knowledge of the history now becomes paramount. Earlier the knowledge of the history was optional, all you needed to do was remember the state. Now knowledge of this history is critical, is critical. Okay. So let us uh, write out what this problem class is. This problem class is what is called the problem problems with imperfect state information. Okay. So I will be writing this in the stochastic control language. In the stochastic control language, they are, this is how it is known. It is known as a, uh, a stochastic control with imperfect state information. In the Markov decision processes world, in that world it is known as partially observed Markov decision process, partially observed Markov decision process, in other also called sometimes called POMDP or POMDP. So, I will uh, write out the model from the stochastic control uh, standpoint. So, we will have a state space model with a, with a state equation and we will also have a, uh, additional, uh, additional uh, uh, elements that will capture the information that we know. So, I will stick to that model for, uh, for the time being. We will uh, if necessary we will go back to the uh, POMDP model uh, for clarity or for examples later. Okay. So, our the model is as follows. So, once again the, the state, okay, the state, the system has a state okay, and the state is let us say given in this sort of form. So, it is it evolves as x k plus 1 equals f k of x k which is the state at time k, the action u k and w k where w k is the noise. So, this is the state. So, x k is the state at time k. Now, we however, do not know the state at time k. What we get are observations of this uh, observations through a observation medium or an observation channel. Okay. So, what we get at any time at any time k is something like this. So, let, let me write this at time 0 first. At time 0, z0 is our observation about the state at time 0. So, we get z0 equals h0 of x0 comma v0. So, what we see at time 0 is this z0, we do not see x0. So, z0 is the observation at time time 0, right. At any future times zk is equal to hk of xk uk minus 1 and vk. Now, the, the observation at time uh, that we get at time k is a function of the, uh, the, the state at that time k, the action that you took previously u k minus 1 and noise. Okay. So, this here is the, so z k is the observation at time k. Now the reason the reason there is no dependence on an act on the action in this in this equation is because this is at time zero. So the the observation that you get at time zero is a function of only the state at time zero and the noise at time zero. The action uh, the action begins to make an appearance only for future times. So this is this here this applies for for all k greater than uh, uh, greater let us say let me write it as k equal to 1 to 
n minus 1 right the uh, the these these w w's and v's here this and these v's these actually comprise of the noise in the system so this here is Uh, all of these these uh, this is these this is the noise in the system right now we need to choose as before we need to choose actions to minimize a certain cost so let me write out uh, write out the, the cost function we have a certain, we have again a cost function a cost function that we want uh, that is a function of so you want to minimize an expected cost this is a fun, there is a terminal cost once again gn of xn plus sum plus a sum of stage wise cost g k equal to 0 to n minus 1 gk of now xk uk wk right now uh, as before we would be we need to choose a sequence of not actions but a sequence of strategies we need to find a policy that we would be applying in order to minimize this particular cost because this is after all a stochastic problem so we cannot really talk of which action we'll be choosing in each state but rather we need to talk of what what is going to be our policy which is what is going to be the function that will prescribe the action but here becomes here is where the question essentially now becomes more interesting we do not know the state at any time so the question that we need to ask is what is it that we actually know at that time so that base so in other words what is the what is going to be our information on the basis of which we are going to be taking these actions so these actions uk are to be chosen based on a policy but that policy should take what as as its argument or or as its input this is this is this is a question that needs to be answered so here is where we now will start making assumptions about the information that we have in a problem so our our we will be assuming that the information that we have at time k so here is this is a new quantity that is now coming up so the information that we have at time k comprises of all the observations that that have happened so far that means z0 to zk and all the actions that you have taken so far so all the actions say this is u0 till uk minus 1 this is the information that you have at time k at time 0 you have information of only only the z0 okay only z0 that means just the initial observation that was received so this this holds for k equals 1 till n minus 1 and this is for the second one holds for k equal to 0 so what we need to do is we need to when we in this problem here we need to choose our action uk as a function of the information that we have so the problem statement is to choose uk as a function of ik in other words the problem is to find the policy Okay, we want to find decision rules mu k such that mu k of i k is equal to u k. Okay. So, our problem is to this if I pi 0 to pi n minus 1 this is now our, our policy for us and the problem is to find the or, or, to, minim, or to minimize that cost over all policies which map the information that is known at that time to an action. So, we want to minimize the expected cost like this the cost now because uh, let me write out the actions explicitly g n of x n plus k equal to 0 to n minus 1 g k of x k but remember u k is now chosen as a function of i k. So, let me write that mu k 
of i k comma w k minimize this under overall mu 0 to mu n minus 1 that is denoted by pi. This is our problem, the problem is that of finding these policies which will map now these information vectors to actions right. So, here there is in in a, in in this uh, uh, so once we apply a particular policy the the action gets uh, the action gets chosen based on the information that you have at that time right the state also would evolve based on this policy so the state remember the state equation here we had a state equation in uh, given in this sort of form this state equation would now also change in in its form. So, your x k plus 1 when under the policy the state would evolve as follows x k plus 1 equals f, f k of x k mu k of x uh, mu k of f k of x k mu k of i k comma w k. So, this is how the state would now evolve. Right. So, uh, and the information also remember the information that we were getting was also a function of the action that was being chosen. So, z k would also could in general depend on the policy. So, this here, so you have z k equals h k of x k, but this depends this was mu k minus 1 because the action of the previous time step was appearing here. So, mu k minus 1 of i k minus 1 comma v k this is the this is z k and remember and similarly z 0 is just x h 0 of x 0 comma v 0. This this is therefore our this is therefore our problem. So, the expectation here in this uh, in the out uh, in this expression here the expectation here is being taken over all the noise all the noise in the problem so this is with respect to all the noise noise and that the sources of noise are remember there is wk and that there is also vk now let's let's dwell a little bit on on uh, on this on this problem first so, what is uh, first let us understand what is the sequence in which things happen ok. I, you have a you are in a suppose a state x k at a particular time at a particular time k ok. So, suppose you are in state state x k at some time k. So, at state in when you are in state x k at time k you do not actually know x k, but what you get is an observation z k ok. So, this is a time k. So, this is time this is the state that you are in and this here you this results in an observation. So, the state it comes to you in a corrupted form through an observation channel. So, the this 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 thing here is your observation at time k. Right. This observation remember depends on this observation was a function of h k u k minus 1 and v k. So, the observation depended on the state at time k the action that you took previously that is u k minus 1 and the noise all right. So, it did the observation uh, uh, is being obtained before you take the action at time k. So, the sequence of events is that you you when you are at time k there is a state x k you have previously taken an action u k u k minus 1 sorry and that results in an observation z k. This observation z k goes and adds to your uh, to your kitty of observations. So, the kitty of observation the information that you have previously compri uh, that you had at the previous time step was i k minus 1. Now, i k minus 1 had z 0 to z k minus 1, u 0 to u k minus 2. 
Now this this is the information that you had at at time k minus 1, but at time k minus 1 you also took an action u k minus 1. So, this the, 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 the information of this action is also now available to you and in addition to this you also now have the observation that has been obtained at time k. So, in addition to this you also have z k. So, in other words your i k is i k minus 1 union u k minus 1 union z k. In other, this is the observation this is now your new information z0 to zk u0 to uk minus 1 this is now the new information so with this new information the observation adds to your information and with this new information you now take an action so the sequence of events is that you have a state state results in an observation using the previous uh, current state and the previous actions and the noise. This, uh, this, this observation adds to your information, the previous the information is all the previous information and the, the, pre, the, the immediate previous action and the new observation that you have and based on this you take the action and then based on this now that the action is chosen this results in the next state. this noun is a results in the next state based on the you uh, based on the state equation okay so this is so this action is your is mu k of i k and based on this you have x k u k uh, based on this uh, the state equation you get your next state which is x k plus 1 so at at the at any at, a, at at the time at time k and uh, while choosing your uh, the action the action u k here you do not know you do not know the the uh, you do not know the w k s ok obviously we do not know the v k as well because all you are getting is this observation z k the this this observation is only the only thing that is known to you. So, you do not know the w k right. So, w k gets realized after this. So, this is where noise also comes in noise w k and that results in the next state right. So, this is the sequence of events that happen in the uh, that happen in the problem. Now, the main thing for you to realize is uh, is is that now the information is playing an, a critical role because the because since we are never getting any information about the state we are keeping with us all the observations that we have, that we have made so far and all the actions that we have taken so far all of this is being preserved in order to take the next action in other words the the uh, the policy therefore it has to be history dependent in a certain sense history is here by history here I do not mean the true history of the problem, but rather the history of information that you have received right. So, the, uh, the entire in, in history of observations and the history of actions is available is available to us and that is how uh, I, so the problem is formulated as one where you by in a natural way uh, the problem is formulated as one where you have to pick the action in a history dependent way it actually you may wonder why is not there a Markov way of choosing an action here. Uh, well, there is but it is a much more evolved and much more um, uh, 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 a, a much more sophisticated logic I will explain that in the in the in a subsequent lecture. But if you if you if by Markov uh, policy you th really think of using where if you say if you think that you are going to be using just the most immediate information if that is your view of Markov policies then it, it really makes no sense uh, to stick to just Markov policies because the most immediate information need not be the most correct information. Since we are getting noisy information at every at each time you essentially there is no guarantee there is no reason to believe that the current information is is somehow the most uh, is you know in some way the, the one with the highest fidelity. The, 
in fact our uh, because we do not get correct information at any time the, the, our, our best bet is to take is to simply use all the information that we have and that is that is essentially what is being uh, done here by by uh, by keeping track of the entire history of the of observations and actions that we have chosen so far. So, we are now at the threshold of a very interesting class of problems and this is where the, the, uh, the role of information and eventually the role of communication will start playing, uh, uh, start manifesting in our, in this course. So, I look forward to seeing you further here.